Hey everyone, I'm here today to bring you a review of Bell Tress Americana in the color Chocolate with Caramel. So this is a heat friendly wig or HD wig, heat defiant, whatever you want to call it. That's uh, this piece right here. And she has some length, so we'll talk a little bit about that. But uh, before we do, I wanna show you this color chocolate with caramel. I just filmed a review for Bellissima in this color, and I love this color. Uh, I don't know if Bellissima will come out before this video. It's kinda of hard to know. I sort of gauge which one I think I wanna release first, but this color is amazing. For my brunette sisters out there, chocolate with caramel is so pretty, so beautiful, so warm, uh, kind of auburnish, uh, just great. I, I don't even know, words can't describe. It has a dark root and just this pretty color. So I'm gonna give you a couple of different looks of this color with a ring light. So right now I don't have my ring light on. This is just my bathroom lighting. And if you are new here, I, um, most of my reviews are in just straight bathroom lighting. I have four glow bulbs, four on this side, four on this side, over and ab above me right here. And I got a ring light recently, and so I've been experimenting with showing uh, the color with the ring light. So I'm going to turn the ring light on on a couple of different settings. We'll see what it does to the color, and then I'll film the rest of the review. And so this is with no ring light. I think this is a good representation of color in a warm lighting situation, which is most household lighting. All right, so here we go. Um, let me get to, so this is the bright white. This is the bright white setting on a ring, you know, ring lights will have sometimes multiple settings, multiple, uh, you know, you can dim it a little bit. So this is the bright white setting. So this isn't a warm light at all. So now if I switch it, this is the warm light setting and this to me is a good match to my bathroom lighting. So what this does is it just gives it a little more brightness. It's more direct on me versus above me. I just love this color so much. So pretty. I'll leave the ring light on for a little bit and then I'll shut it off. So. This piece is gorgeous, just so beautiful. The colors, on, or the colors, the curls are so pretty. So let me show you. I did do an out of the box, and all I have done to her since the out of the box is comb her out. That's all I've done. I didn't spray her, I didn't hang her. I used my wide tooth comb and I combed her out. And when you see the out of the box, you'll see why I did that, because the curls are very, very defined and separated. And I just didn't think, I've got a hair fiber in my eye, I didn't think that they looked that good, so I combed them out. You can see, she's got a lot more curl down here, and then it's a lot straighter up here. So it's almost like someone put curlers or took a big barrel curling iron and curled it just on the ends. And she definitely has a layered thing going. So I'm gonna turn this ring light off now. It's hard for me to film this with that light because it shines straight in my eyes and it's so close to me because I'm in my bathroom. Uh, it makes it hard to look at the camera. So I think this light is good enough. Um, okay, so my impressions. First of all, this is a full mono top and a lace front. And so the full mono gives you so many styling options. You can part her on one side, you can part her on the other side, you can part her in the middle, you can you know, do a little top knot because you've got that full mono so you can kind of create a part on one side and create a part on the other side and do like a fun little top knot thing, which I don't know how to do, but I know a lot of you do, some of you do. <laughs> And you can do something really fun, a little swirly top knot up here to play with all of these curls. So from a standpoint, from a styling standpoint, 
I think this is a great piece and that monofilament really, really helps that. Something I will tell you, and I've said this in other Beltress videos, the knotting on the lace front could be better. It's very, very knotty looking. The knots are relatively large. And I just, that's my complaint about Beltress wigs uh, right now is just their knotting because I'm a brunette. So you can see that right there. It's really unfortunate because I think, you know, there could be so much off the face styling, but that knotting makes it really tough. Now there are things you can do about it. You can put powder, translucent, translucent powder or makeup on there. I do think that you can definitely make that passable. It's just not going to be ready to go out of the box. That can be a concern with bell truss wigs. Maybe not in the blondes, but I'm not a blonde and so I do deal with this on their wigs. Um, now, if you don't want to style it off the face, then no worries because how she lays really doesn't draw attention to that lace front aside from just giving it some realism. So I wouldn't sweat that unless you are an off the face styler. Um, you know, she's very, very flat to the head. There's obviously with the mono, there's no poof right here at all. I think there's a tiny bit of permatease on the sides, on the crown and back here. I can feel permatease back here for sure. And that gives it a little bit of lift with the curl. So it gives the sides and the back a little bit of body. And I do think that is needed in this style. So I love the strategic placement of the permatees in this one because it's not poofy up here where it bothers a lot of us, but it's just perfect in here to help with this kind of curly style. That I love. Something that I struggle with on this one, the layers, the length. Because right here, this looks like a chin length haircut because the front is so short with the layers. It's like maybe like a long mullet. You know what I mean? Like you've got this, it's so beautiful. And then you turn around and you go, well, hello. I didn't know that party was happening back there. <laughs> um, but what that does is I do think it gives you some really fun styling options. So. I played around a little bit to see with the layers in the front, I think you could get a low pony going real easy, especially if you want to kind of try to avoid showing some of your bio hair on the sides. So you can pull, again, I don't do these well on camera, so I'm not your girl for styling videos, but if you pull the hair over and you know kind of mess around with it in the front and you get it in a low pony, I think you can do that and with this length and these curls, I think you could turn that into something really, really cute. So I, I really think that if you're planning to do a lot of styling with your hair, these layers can give you some options. You know, if, you, if you're good at doing, you can pin it up into some tendrils, you know, down in an updo, that all would be super cute with this one. Since I'm not great at styling, I think I would struggle with that. And you know, what I would actually maybe do is cut off a little bit of that length so it's not so extreme. But for those of you who really like long hair, but you also like some dynamic layers and you like some options, I think there are some fantastic options with this style. And I'll tell you, I love Beltress heat friendly fibers, at least how they feel. They're so soft. I love the way the fibers feel. My concern would be this is going to be a challenge to keep looking nice for a long time because of the length. These are going to start to get frizzy really quickly because they will rub on your clothing and that is a challenge. So that's where I come to my little Pete, my spiel right now about heat friendly wigs. If you are new to wearing wigs, Heat friendly wigs are a little bit challenging and they do require some special care and maintenance, especially the longer ones that would rub on your clothes. So, you know, I would be cautious if you're not experienced wearing wigs and um, for sure if this would be the first wig that you purchase, I'd be real cautious. Um, if you can afford to purchase a wig and have it be hard to work with, then go for it. But if you're really on a tight budget and you uh, you know can't afford to buy very many wigs, I, I probably wouldn't start with these heat-friendly wigs. That's my personal opinion. 
Anybody have a different opinion? Leave them in the comments because that's how we help each other. You comment your experience and then others can see it. Um, so I do have, I have Lady Latte in, in Beltrus. I have Kona in Beltrus. I have Bellissima, which I love now in Beltrus. I just ordered a wig. I can't think of the name <laughs> on camera. I just ordered one and it's like the Ignite Doppelganger. I'm not, I'm not, it's not going to come to me. Um, today I ordered it, so I'm getting another one. And so, but my thought is shorter is better, straight even better. Because here's the deal: if a wig, a heat-friendly wig, starts to fray or get frizzy, you can take heat to them. That's what they're for. The problem is the heat will take out the curl for the most part. So in these curly pieces, if you take heat to this to try to tame the frizzy ends that can happen, the curl is going to relax. It may come out completely, it may just relax. The problem is you probably don't want that in your curly wig. In a straight wig, you don't have to worry about that. Let me show you the cap. I just buzzed my hair, you guys. I have a video out there on that that just happened a week ago. So check that out. All right, so we've got the full mono top. You've got the lace front. So this one does have the seam. See the seam? Uh, a lot of full mono top wigs have that seam because the lace can be really, um, it can be really fragile sometimes. And so this makes the monofilament stronger. The problem is sometimes you can see that seam in some wigs. What I like about Beltress, they stick that seam quite a ways back. So this lace front is really deep. It minimizes the risk that you'll see the transition line. So I don't worry about it in the Beltress wigs. That is an open ear tab so it's not the soft velvety ear tab and there is no extended nape and bell truss uses the pull adjusters or like bra strap adjusters not a fan not a fan so what happens and why i'm not a fan is they don't want to stay you, you get it where you want it and then you wear it and the more you wear it see it doesn't stay. You can always put a stitch in there to keep it there. That's fine. I just wish I didn't have to do something to make it stay. That's why I like the Velcro adjusters are my number one. Um, there, like I said, there's very little permatease, but there is some. The rest is open wefted, but you know you can see it's a little padded there, and that's a telltale sign of permatease. I think the permatease is perfect, but if you don't like permatease at all, this does have some. And so I want you to know about it. Just not on the top, which can be really good. So these curls are gorgeous. Just big barrel curls. They're so pretty. And this color is amazing. If you're a brunette who likes warm chocolatey browns, this is perfect. Beltrust does like to do dark rooting on their rooted wigs, but I think it's good rooting for this color. It's not too bad. I really, really don't mind it at all, but it is a bit of a dark rooting. Um, I'm so in love with this color. I've been wearing the heck out of Bellissima. I've worn Bellissima the last seven days in a row, and that's unheard of for me. I've just fallen in love with that. Uh, so Beltrust tends to be big head friendly. So, you know, I would say this one actually feels a little snug on me. I'm really surprised uh, around my circumference because I often have to tighten Beltrust wigs. So I'm really surprised by that it feels a little snug. And I don't have a lot of extra cap in this one. So I am going to say, without having worn this, I think this cap runs a little small. My Bellissima cap runs big on me, and I actually just did a quick update in that video to talk about how I can feel the cap buckling back here a little bit as I wear it, because it is big on my head. This one doesn't really feel like it's gonna do that. So I would say this one feels a little bit small. Um, so if you're a Bell Tress fan, there is some stretch, but if you're a Bell Tress fan and you count on Bell Tress, because they run, now the hair is kind of messed up from taking it off. Um, the caps fit you and you run big in your head. This one might actually feel a little tight, potentially. I don't think it's, it's not petite, but I just think it feels a little smaller than my other Beltrus wigs. Let me just put it that way. All right, guys, so bottom line for this one, I think it's adorable. I love, from this view, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm just not sure what I think about these extreme layers. I mean, look at how extreme those layers are. 
Um, that I'm not so, so sure about. So keep in mind, there are some real extreme layers here. And then also just keep in mind it's heat friendly. So if you're going to be wearing this often and it's going to be rubbing all over your clothes, you may be dealing with the issues that happen with that. Other than that, I think it's, she's adorable. She's not super high density. So even with the permatease, she doesn't have a ton of hair, which I think is also really fun because sometimes you get wigs like this and they're so heavy and they feel like they're just way too much hair. This one doesn't feel that way at all. And the coverage, Bell Tress Wigs coverage is really good. The ear tabs come really low. My ear is way up here. The tab is below the the top of my ear over here, but it goes in front of it. It doesn't lay on it. And so I get really good coverage with bell tress wigs, which I really like. Let me know if you guys have questions about Americana. Otherwise, I just, I bought this one on a whim. I don't know, it was a moment of weakness. It isn't my typical style because it's pretty long, but it's been fun to try it. And you know, I might debate, do I keep it and just have someone help me cut the back? Because from this angle, I'm madly in love with this wig. Thanks for watching, and I'll show you the color outside. All right, guys. Here is Chocolate with Caramel from Belle Tress in the Americana wig. Uh, yep, Americana. I thought I got the name wrong, but I didn't. This color is amazing. I love this color. Absolutely love it. So pretty. I hope it helps to have it in front of my white garage door, giving a little contrast to it. I'll walk over and do it in front of the gray of the house too. This wig is so, I just like kind of like doing this. It's kind of fun how flowy it is. All right. Yeah, see, it's not as good because of the contrast isn't as great there. All right, I'm gonna walk back over. I wonder what all these car people in their cars think when they drive by and they see me doing this. I don't know. I have to just not care <laughs> or I'll never be able to make these. All right, let's look at the rooting. Am I getting it? I hope I'm getting it. And then you can see how it transitions. It's just beautiful. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope this was helpful and I really appreciate you. So thank you for being here and I'll talk to you soon. Hey everyone, here is Americana out of the box. I didn't do anything. Actually, yes, I did. She was kind of like this when she got came out of the box. So I did this. <laughs> That's all I did. Just kind of sweep her over to the side. Really, really cute. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But she's not bad out of the box at all. So I'll play with her and see what we got. But I wanted to show you just the out of the box. Nothing too dramatic. I've got I've had a lot worse out of the box. Thanks for watching.